Hey there, my name is Jennifer LeClaire. Um, today I'm going to be doing a gear review video on one of my favorite and just most essential um, pieces of canoe tripping slash camping gear. Um, actually more exclusively just canoe tripping. Um, and that is a dry bag. Handy dandy old dry bag. Nothing too exciting um, <laughs> or crazy here. Just yeah, something that's super important, I think, on canoe trips and just anything where you're going over water um, to keep all of your stuff dry. So it's exactly what it is. The words in the name describe it. It's a dry bag. It keeps all of your stuff nice and dry. So it's just made of like a rubbery material. Um, I don't know the exact kind of rubber it is, but um, yeah. Uh, these are available uh, really Probably not Canadian Tire or anywhere like that. Uh, mostly uh, an outdoor specified store. So somewhere where that specializes in outdoor gear and stuff is where you would find this. Um, but generally pretty readily available these are. They're not very that, very hard to find. Um, <clears throat> so uh, typical uses, well, I've got an example, a full example here. One that I packed for you guys, so. Um, in here, uh, when you're on a canoe trip, uh, really in here, you don't really want to pack things that you're not gonna, or that you will need right away. Um, so you don't want to pack your rain gear in here. You don't want to pack first aid kit in here. Um, you don't want to pack any food, but your lunch or your snacks. Um, you'll see why you won't want to pack food in here, but <laughs> you don't want to pack food in here. Uh, but just those things that you need, usually like just out of nowhere, you're not going to want to put in here. These are things that you're deep essentials, so stuff that um, you use only when you get to your camp and your camp is set up and whatnot. Um, so an ex examples of stuff that I would carry in here, or I am carrying in here, are my sleeping bag and my sleeping bag liner. Um, two things that would definitely, definitely, definitely always go in here for me. Depends on the sleeping bag, of course. Uh, luckily, this is a down, I own a down sleeping bag, so it stays um, very compact and a lot of the air comes out of it, so it doesn't really hold a lot of its volume um, as much as maybe a cotton sleeping bag would. Um, and then in the top here, I just have my uh, dry clothes, so stuff that I put on when I get to camp and the stuff I wear to bed um, after a long day of tripping. So, I'll open it up and show you how to use it. <laughs> so, I've got Velcro stuff here. So, like I said, uh, my swimsuit in here, um, a hoodie, uh, socks, underwear, just stuff like that. Toothbrush maybe go in here. Some people like to put their dry shoes in here. Usually, I bring dry shoes. Uh, like the stuff, the, the shoes that you wear at your campsite, you usually wear like a rubbery shoe, like Crocs or something, or like, well, closed toed, so you don't want sandals, but um, Crocs are perfect. They're great for gripping the rocks. Um, but, and they don't, if they get wet and you're just your pack, your regular pack, not in here, um, they don't really tend to hold moisture. But some people who bring like, uh, like Toms or like running shoes, like just like slider shoes, um, we'll put them in here because those will hold moisture and we'll need to sit out to dry. So I've seen people definitely put their shoes or their dry shoes in here. Um, sometimes you can put maybe like your phone in here unless it's something that you're going to want to have handy dandy. You can put it in a waterproof case then. But usually if I bring my phone, if I ever do, um, it's usually just for music at night. So I would just put that in here too as well. Make sure it keeps it nice and dry and it's not close to any water. So to seal it back up, you're gonna to want to make sure everything's nice and straight. I want these clips uh, available. I'm gonna fold it over one full time. And just use your knee to push on it and get it nice. And there, and each time you uh, press on it, you're gonna to want to twist it again and push on it again until you stop hearing those air sounds. Need to give it a, a shake, hit it on the ground. I'm not gonna do that though. Maybe a little. Here. Just so there's no um, empty space in the bottom there. And then final push. 
push. You're just going to take the clips that were on the side around and clip them together. And there you have a very compact um, bag to put your things in. Uh, yeah, uh, wouldn't, like I said, uh, really only for over water uh, trips and stuff uh, and an extended period of days trips. So uh, definitely not just like a day hiking trip because a hiking trip, you're not gonna be going over water anyway. And if it's just like a three day, two day hike, it's just not practical or necessary, but um, for really any other scenario um, other than canoe trip, maybe uh, winter camping or winter tripping, um, like in the Arctic or something, uh, maybe if you're getting your stuff in the snow, but then again, you're probably not gonna be getting this in the snow, it's gonna stay in your tent and it's gonna go in the back. So, um, oh yeah, for something I forgot to mention, they actually do make other sizes. So this isn't the only size they have. This is just a personal size dry bag. So just for people's personal stuff. Um, usually the only size that I would bring, they do carry, they do have uh, big giant ones. I have one of those, but um, I haven't really used it to be honest. Uh, usually just use one of these. Um, or people that I'm going with each use one of these. We all have a pack and we put all of our clothes in and we go, we don't mind. We're not worried about throwing it in the bottom of the canoe when there's water in there. I'm um, worried about the canoe tipping and whatnot. Like I said, if you fall in the water, if your pack falls in the water, um, you make sure that important stuff is super safe and not going to get wet and you don't have to sleep in a wet sleeping bag at night because that is just the worst. Or on a wet sleeping pad or anything. I want to make sure that stuff stays, stays dry. So, yeah. Dry bags, uh, very essential, very important. Um, and are definitely one of my favorite pieces of gear um, to bring on a canoe trip. So. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video as well and have a great day.